Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to set up your Synology NAS to automatically scan your hard drives with Smart. The reason you'll want to do this is to locate bad sectors. If you don't do this, you may end up with what's called sleeping bad sectors. Now sleeping bad sectors are bad sectors on your hard drive that may have files on them that haven't been used in a while. If you have another drive fail, a sleeping bad sector on another drive may cause problems while trying to rebuild your RAID. This could lead to a total loss of your data, which nobody wants. I recommend that you do a surface scan of your hard drives you are going to use in your NAS before you build your RAID. I used a program called HD Tune and did a deep surface scan. It took quite a few hours, but in the end I knew that that the drives were okay to use. If you do find a bad sector, you'll want to have that drive replaced. Okay, I'm already logged into my NAS. From here we'll want to go to the upper left hand corner to the programs menu. And then we're going to want to go over to and select storage manager icon. Now from here you can see that when I built my NAS I chose to do a Synology hybrid RAID with with a disk protection of one. So basically one drive could fail and all my data would be intact. Hindsight, I kind of wish I'd gone with with the option for two where you could have up to two drives fail. And I may end up rebuilding my RAID someday and going that route just, just for a little more peace of mind. I think you lose more capacity when you have the two disk fault tolerance, but it would be nice just not to have to worry as much about my data. Anyway, we'll go up to the hard drive management tab here, right next to volume, and then it's going to give you a list of your drives in your system. I only have four drives, but uh, you're going to want to select which drive you're going to want to automate the smart test for. And I'm just going to select disk one. And we're going to go up to the smart test button here. And now you're going to want to come down to where it says schedule the smart test to examine your hard disk health. Click on schedule. We're going to go up here and click on create. And the first test I'm going to do is going to be a quick test. And the quick test only takes about two to three minutes. So I'm going to run that one every day. And I'm going to run it at about 1.30 in the morning. And it's set for daily here. So we're going to click OK. It's going to save that. So now the other one, I'm just, before I back out of here, I'm going to say Create. And I'm going to go to Extend, Extended Test. And this one I'm not going to want to run every day. It's going to be more like the deep surface scan that I talked about earlier. And I'm just going to do it during the weekday on Monday. Once a week should be sufficient. And this one I'm going to start at 2 in the morning. And this one will take, from what I've heard, it will take around 5 hours. Now it it may take longer depending on your drive so I've heard some people allowing up to 12 hours for this but 2 in the morning it it should be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and say OK and again it's gonna save so now I have my quick test set up for 1.30 every day of the week and then I have my extended test set up for Monday at 2 a.m. and I'm gonna say close and we can close close this window here. Now you got to remember that that's only for that one disk so we're going to have to go into disk 2. You're going to have to do it for each drive. So I've selected disk 2. Go back up to smart test. Go down to schedule again. Create. Quick test. I'm going to do mine at 130. Say OK. then back up to create and do an extended. Now this one I think I'm going to end up staggering it. I'm going to 
I'm going to end up having this one same time, 2 in the morning, but I'll end up doing it on Tuesday. And say OK. And you'll probably want to stagger them so they don't overlap. I'm not sure if that if you'd run into problems, but I'm thinking it would just take much longer to perform if you were to run them all at once on or test all your drives at one time. So I'm just going to basically repeat that on my remaining two drives, and you'll have to do it as many times as as drives as you have in your system. But uh, that's pretty much it, and this should really help prevent where you run into the sleeping bad sectors. The one other thing I wanted to talk about quick, which I didn't realize this when I when I put bought my NAS and I bought my drives. Uh, I, di I didn't buy an enterprise quality drive because they were three to four hundred dollars for a two terabyte, whereas I got these two terabytes for ninety two dollars. Now they have come out since then. They've come out with the Western Digital Red, which apparently supports something called TLER, which works with hardware, hardware RAID. Now, as far as I know, the Synology, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but as far as I know, the Synologies use a software RAID. So this shouldn't be a real factor, but this TLER should help if you... If you were to ever have a problem where you needed, if you were ever in the process of rebuilding your RAID, it it should help with that. The other the other benefits is they're supposed to be lower heat and less vibration, and they're supposed to they're meant to last longer. So if if you're just starting out and you're planning on getting an ass and buying drives. It wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe go that route. I'm not suggest you know I'm running these these uh, Seagate drives, which we can see here. Uh, Western Digital Red runs about $130, where I ended up picking up the other ones for 92. For four drives, I think I saved almost $150, but it kind of would be nice to have the peace of mind of that these are meant for an ass and they you know they have the features that should make them last longer they're pretty new so it's really hard to say if they do last longer but something to consider if you're if you're thinking about purchasing an ass all right well thanks again for watching my videos and if you like this please uh, give me a like and subscribe Thanks a lot. Bye.